Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel. And today, guys, we're doing another throwback mod, which means it's a mod that I reviewed way, way in the past that I'm checking out again in 1.12. Um, unfortunately, there was not a 1.4 or 1.13 release for this mod yet. I did check that, but um, we can still review it. Guys, we're taking another look at the Malice's Doors mod. So I'm really excited. If you guys don't know what this mod is, essentially it adds in a ton of different doors, as you can see right here. Um, they all have different unique animations and um, I don't want to say abilities because that sounds weird because they're doors. But yeah, they have all different kinds of animation styles and whatnot. And so, honestly, it's just a quality of life mod to make your world a lot more uh, fancy. So if you're one of those people that builds a lot of crazy houses and structures, this is the mod for you. Guys, let's get right into it. But before that, if there is any chance of you guys smashing that like button, try to get it to 10 likes. If this video does get to 10 likes, I will guarantee you two mod showcases next week instead of one. So let's see if we can make that happen. But the first door is known as the wooden glass door. So this is probably the typical door that you're going to want to make if you want anything that's like glass in your house. But if you just want to look and watch the animation and listen to the sound. So as you can see, that's pretty much it. And yes, these do all work with buttons, pistons, like anything that normally a door would operate with, it does work the same. And if you're wondering how to craft this, you will only need three types of wood any kind of wood and three types of glass and it will yield you three and there is of course the iron version as well you just get three iron it does the exact same thing however that one will require a button moving on to the jail door so this one's pretty interesting and unique because what you do is if you press the button you have to use a button or something to open it but if you open it it closes very shortly after so you want to really quickly get into that if you're working with a jail cell or if you're making an entire prison this is definitely the door for you so you will just need six iron bars which is what six times six that's 36 iron you'll need to make that door and you'll get three of them um next up we have the factory door or lab door i believe it's called so this is pretty much how this one works it opens up like that so it's pretty cool um there's the factory door as well which opens from the side like it, it wait here i'll just show you i'll just show you what it does so break this one can can you go back anyway this is what this one looks like it opens like two panels and now they're kind of both stuck but yeah don't place these down in like a half house like i'm doing because they kind of there's no way to close them it's some of them so the laboratory door is crafted with four iron ingots and two gold the factory door is crafted with uh four gold and two iron ingots like that instead so they're very similar but different at the same time moving on to the uh, i believe this one is called the yeah the shoji door so it all it goes very slowly and um for anyone wondering yes you can't combine the doors like that you can't have a two-way door you can't have like multiple doorways um but the shoji door is crafted with three pieces of paper and any kind of wood plank moving on to the these are drapes believe it or not they are the um or curtains i should say so these are pretty much the uh, curtains they have pretty cool animations um if you were just to have to have one it opens still sideways it just looks a little bit weird um and yes, you can have different dyes worth of them, and you just kind of use wool as you see here. So any kind of wool, just grab, and you can combine it together, and you'll get three. Don't know why it gives you three, considering two is probably the best bet for this one, but you know, that's fine. Next up, we have the uh, the cowboy door, as I'm calling it. So this one's pretty interesting. You can't right click it or anything. You have to walk into it, and as you can see, it opens and closes like it normally would. The saloon door, as it is called. In this crafted, you will need any kind of uh, wood plank, four of them, and two sticks. So that's pretty cool. And again, it opens and closes like that. Now moving on to a little bit more unique things. We have a trap door, which opens like this. Um, we have a reinforced gate or camouflage gate. Looks pretty interesting. Um, we have the, what is this one called? The reinforced door. Pretty cool, right? Um, and finally we have the garage door. So the garage door is pretty interesting. You can sort of make it as big as you want Similar how like the nether portals work now. Just think of it like that And if you have your desired garage door size you place a button and it opens like that you can walk through and it should close No, do you have to press the button again to make it close? Yeah, you have to press the button again to make it close, but it's pretty cool if you want to have to craft each one the sliding trap doors crafted with four iron glass doors and two ironing so that's actually pretty expensive for the camo gate you will need three kinds of gate actually specific ones you need acacia jungle and birch to get three of them the reinforced door you will need seven iron ingots and for the garage door just one of them you will need one glass and five uh any kind of plank 
So just keep that in mind. This is the most expensive door, and that's pretty much what's going to be. There are more doors in this mod. Um, there's doors like the carriage door, medieval door. There's large double doors for all the regular uh, vanilla doors. There's the rusty iron double door. Um, there's the rusty hatch, and there's a few other things. I didn't want to go over everything because I want you guys to download the mod for yourself and check out some of the doors if that does pique your interest. If this mod does pique your interest, I should say. Um, but yeah, and for anyone else who wants in a savanna, desert, ocean biome, here's the seed to the world. If you guys want it, just keep in mind this is 1.12.2. Um, it likely will have changed in the other versions. And another note to go over today is 1.14.1's uh, release did occur today. So we were on 1.14 for the while. They have now updated to 1.14.1. I would have gone over that, but it's just a lot of bug fixes. They didn't necessarily add any new items. They just changed a lot of the mechanics in the mod. Or in the mod, jeez, in the uh, version. So for anyone curious about that, um, feel free to check that out too. Oh, and one more thing: for this mod to work, you do have to install two mods. You have to have the Mouse's Door mod and the Mouse's Core mod, and both those will be linked in the description down below, so you can download both and enjoy this mod for yourself. Personally, I would say this mod is better in a mod pack where you have a ton of different things just so you have like combinations for the house. But like if you do want to install this just to have as a different door mod in vanilla Minecraft, that works as well. Um, definitely, I think I'm going to try to add this to my new world series just because it's doors. I mean, we can hopefully make that work. But in any case, guys, that is where we're going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, remember, smash that like button, show your support, subscribe if you are new, and I will catch you guys in later today's pillaging episode. Goodbye.